Okay, so we're back working on the form site, uh, part 10 here. Um, so in this video, hopefully, we'll be able to finish up the view topic page. So we've gotten our two columns basically created. We just have to adjust some properties. Uh, so yeah, the first thing we, we want to do is we need to get this, uh, our info or our content box to stretch all the way over. So this is 400 pixels, so I'm going to stretch it over another 200 pixels, turn it up to 6. And it's definitely going to need more than that, but eh, maybe go to another 25, or yeah, we'll go to 25. So, maybe even just a little bit more. Okay, so I guess that's good. So, we have our, our content boxes, our content box created. Uh, so, what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of, we're going to get all of the um, user information for our user box. Uh, but first, I'm going to get rid of of the background colors on this. I'm actually going to kick that up another five, but I'm going to get rid of the background colors on these. So, make it look a little bit nicer. Um, so in our view topic page, uh, we need to go down to our content area, or where we're displaying our content and everything. So, inside of our put our user info box here. What I'm going to do set these up as two separate echo statements. So <clears throat> inside of our info box, uh, the user info box, we want to be able to get the avatar image for the user who posted um, and that's really easy to do. Uh, we're also going to have their username and both of which will link off to their profile and for now, the only other piece of information that that's going to have is how many forum posts that this user has. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and do this up here um, before we do our color. So, so what we need to do is I'm going to create a variable, name it avatar, and it's going to be mysql underscore fetch sock. And instead of uh, declaring a variable inside of here, we're just going to uh, straight up put our query inside of here. So select avatar from users where user name equals, and this is the post underscore user underscore name, I believe. Yep. So then, after that, we need to say avatar equals dollar sign avatar, and with brackets after it, and then just like that. Uh, and the reason why is because this variable is named avatar, um, just to make it flow, I guess. So inside of our info box here, I'm actually not going to make this two separate ones. So inside of our two in our info box here, um, we put in image tags. So img, img, src for source, and this is going to be site slash avatars slash dollar sign avatar. So really simple. Um, we're also going to put a style of width to 100 pixels and height to 100 pixels. Whoops. So after we have that, that essentially just makes the avatar display. So if we just refresh, you see we have our avatar image here. Um, so everything's everything's working good, or well rather. Um, in our user info, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, redeclare the background color, and that's just so it looks. I will right, we'll be able to see it, and I'm also gonna change it. So what I'm gonna put in here is uh, uh, yeah, just so to redeclare the background color. And then we have to upload our CSS. So 
So we have our background color. The image is decently sized, I guess. So uh, what we need to do now is we will have a line break and then anchor tag. And this will be site slash profile slash or no, it's a oops, profile question mark ID equals and this is post underscore user underscore ID and we're also going to make this a target of underscore blank and what that'll do essentially it'll open the link when you click on the link it'll open it in a new tab or a new window if you're using Internet Explorer which I hope you're not because Internet Explorer sucks personal preference Chrome for the win um, so we have user underscore name so that displays the username as a link but we also want our image to be displayed as a link so you can click on the image so we're just going to copy this Oops. so after uploading the new topic refresh we just now have this text we can click it it opens up our profile everything's there and we can also click on the text itself instead of just the image so we have that there um, let's see what else we want I guess for now that's all this is gonna have um, later on we'll we'll change that up and, and add some other stuff but uh, but for now that's good so once again get rid of the background color for that and throw it down here and in the view topic file now uh, where we have all this information being displayed we have our content info and our time info and, and all this stuff um, essentially this is going to be two different divs and then our content so we're gonna have a div to display um, some basic information and then another div to display the time and everything and then we'll just have a line break um, and then uh, we just have our post content Oops. so we're going to put a style tag in for both of these so by looking at the date, we have the date and then the time. So what I'm going to say is it's going to say by post underscore uh, user underscore name on. And then we have post date and then at post time. So pretty self-explanatory. Um, we're going to make the uh, username a link to the person's profile just like we have up there and then can't forget our end anchor so after saving and uploading we refresh we have our background color set we have by username on date at time and then we have um, just some other information up there so the information that's going to be up here is kind of going to be the same as this. It's going to be, it's going to say form under construction. So it's going to be our, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the title, there it is. It's essentially going to be the title of, uh, of it. So, yeah. Um, let me scroll all the way up here. So essentially, we want to get our topic that is going to be displayed. So, uh, yeah. So if we open up our database, uh, PHP my admin, we need to get the topic underscore name. And actually, what we're going to do is, instead of getting it from here, um, I'm going to get it straight out of the topic database table. So I'm going to name this to topic or actually post underscore topic so we need to change all of these to post topic and this is going to be name I believe so we want to say actually if we go to form underscore topics we want 
name. Okay, so we want to select name from form underscore topics where ID equals um, dollar sign post underscore topic underscore ID. So we need to get that variable. So after our time here, this is going to be topic ID right there. So if we re-upload and yeah. So what we do need to do now is now that we have our post topic, we need to just throw it in here just to make sure it's getting it um, properly and refresh. So we have form under connection under construction. Um, so yeah, so that is really pretty much it. Like we have all of our text and everything being displayed. Um, really the only other essential part is for just the thing the items being displayed uh, the only essential other part is the BB BB code sorry uh, the BB code which definitely won't be able to fit into the rest of this video um, so it'll be a, it'll be a separate video but um, we're still gonna uh, add some styling to these two items here so in the CSS file I'm gonna get rid of the background color there and inside of here, I'm going to throw in the background color. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to, um, how about this one? Whoops. Kind of messed that up there, sorry. Um, so CCC6AD, and that's just this darkish color. Um, and I'm actually going to throw the exact same background color onto this just for now, um, unless I decide to use a different one or whatever. Um, I'm also going to throw... Actually, that's it. So we're going to upload the topic file. And then if we refresh, we have... Uh, we haven't uploaded the CSS. Um, so yeah, w what we need to do is we need to add in a little bit more styling to this, so margin tack bottom of 5 pixels. So that'll give it just um, some spacing in between these to kind of make it more vis vis yeah, visibly aesthetic. Um, and then we have our line break there for our content. Um, so that's good. And what I'm also going to do, and this is uh, just for SEO purposes or search engine optimization, um, I'm going to make the the topic name. I'm going to make it a link to itself. So it's going to be site slash view. Whoops, view topic question mark id equals um, dash on post underscore topic underscore ID. So essentially it's just linking to itself and that makes it uh, a little bit better for search engines because um, then you have more links and everything. And I'm not going to get into all that right now, but yeah. So we have this here. We can click it and it takes us to the exact same page that we're on. Um, so yeah. So what we need to do is upload our CSS file. And after we have that, we don't have our background there. So we just have these two boxes, our user info. Um, so yeah, everything for now is is pretty much done here. So we have each uh, each individual post getting and being displayed, even though there's only one. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to stop this video in just a second um, because uh, what we're going to do in the next video is essentially the entire next video is going to be how to create your own custom BB code and make it display whatever on God's earth that you want it to display. So um, instead of having our post content to have uh, just NL2BR, so only just line breaks, what we're going to do is we're going to create our own function and I'm going to name it uh, 
I'm going to name it BB code. So our function name is going to be BB code, and we're going to create the function in the next video in our functions file here. So it's going to be similar to similar setup to our fixed text function, but we're going to pass our text to the function, and then we're going to return the text that has been modified specially for BB code use. So I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, it will be solely on BB code.